What's good? Welcome back to my channel. Would you take a look at that view? It is currently Friday afternoon, and after I film this video, I'm going to be helping one of my friends film something for her film class, and then tomorrow, I'm gonna be working on a different film. So it's a big, like, camera filmy weekend for me, and honestly, I'm kind of with it. Anywho, in today's video, I am going to be talking about how to begin a journey of self-exploration. <laughs> is self-exploration literally this is just like my words but like for me it's almost like diving deeper into yourself and who you are and learning to distinguish like what you actually want from what you believe you want and like getting more in contact with yourself and showing yourself more respect and showing more love to your soul and just like coming more into contact with who you are you know i feel like it's so easy to just like try and be like other people and like lose yourself a little bit and like ignore your own needs and like also at the end of the day there is no like definite thing of like who we each are like that's not a thing you know what i mean like we aren't all like there are no labels to describe who each person is like it's just a matter of like getting to know yourself more and like learning more about who you are and like doing the things that make you happy and like once you like learn to explore and respect yourself and find that inner happiness it's reflected into every area of your life so like the inner work changes your entire outer life which is so lit so i'm gonna be talking about that a lot today but first i want to get into the sponsor of this video which is quilt so i want to say a huge thank you to quilt for sponsoring this video and i'm gonna be telling you guys about quilt right now because they are so cool as i'm sure you all know social media can be extremely extremely draining but the problem is is that it's also very addictive right but quilt is a social wellness space to have live supportive conversations for me it's almost like a replacement for like a lot of social media because the great thing about quilt is that after using it and spending time on it and engaging in these really cool conversations you don't feel drained like you don't feel bad because you're learning and it's actually like a very uplifting and spiritual experience all the conversations that take place on Quilt are audio based. You're welcome to like join in and speak and be a part of the conversation that you join or you can just be there as a listener. Quilt has a lot of different topic options that you can like choose from to like tune into um, with different conversations. And some of those include spirituality, habits and rituals, self-exploration, which I'm going to be talking about later, self-care, career, purpose, relationships fashion, style, and so much more. So basically when you join Quilt, there are all of these like different conversations. Some of them are happening right at that moment, like live. And then also you can go onto the calendar and see which ones are coming up, right? And you can literally just join whatever conversation you want to like listen in on. And like, it's right, right there for you. Like it's very, very easy, very, very convenient. You can even start your own Quilt or your own session. I absolutely love the idea of quilt because people can focus solely on their interests and like filter out all that other stuff that they don't really want to look into and this feels like very exciting and motivating because you're learning about things that you want to learn about but it's also like fun and like interesting it's like a place where you can find entertainment and joy but it doesn't make you feel like foggy and out of it and like bad when i created my own conversation on quilt I loved that it was audio only and that it wasn't like showing my face because I didn't feel like I had to like get ready and like look presentable and like obviously I don't like have to but like it was just nice not having to worry about my appearance and just being able to start it whenever I want speak off the whim say what I want to say like people were joining like strangers it was really cool I was just like it was very very cool listening to other people's conversations is also really fun and cool for me because I can kind of just have it playing in the background during like whatever else I'm doing throughout my day and like just be like learning and like taking in information and like it just feels very personal like it's 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 really cool quilt serves as a place at least for me to acquire a lot of knowledge from intelligent people in the tap of a button as well as share my own ideas to other people who might be interested which is super fun it's like a really cool community so when you open the quilt app you'll be on the home page and then if you switch right over into calendar 
you can scroll through all of the different options for upcoming quilts that are planned and like see which ones are interesting to you, what you might wanna join. I am going to be joining a guided meditation on Sunday, March 6th at 10 a.m. with Tiana Roger. I'm super excited. I absolutely love morning meditations. I feel like they start off my day really well and just get me in a really good headspace. So as you can see, I can go right over to that quill upcoming, press the little star to add it to my favorites. I can also add it to my calendar so I don't forget. And then if I go right over into my favorites, I can see that it's there already for me. And if you guys are interested, you should totally join that quilt with me on March 6th and we can be together like in the quilt and do the meditation together. And it'll just be like really fun and cool. I'm really excited. So definitely join me with that. It's going to be super fun. I recently, I recently joined a quilt that was about love and relationships. And I love being a part of a conversation that just felt so relatable to me in a way. I had really similar struggles to those who were speaking in the session. And I got like a lot of really great advice from just like five, 10 minutes of listening. And I felt that I was really able to connect with those on the quilt, even though they were strangers. So I just wanna say thank you so much to Quilt Again. I'm genuinely so excited to be working with you guys, sponsoring you guys. I love, love, love Quill, and I really hope that you all give it a try because it's really worth it. So now getting into my video, how to begin your journey of self-exploration. So the first question I want to ask you about that I brought up a little bit before is, do you know the difference between what you actually desire and what you think you should desire that society has led you to believe, right? Even in a small sense, think about it. Do you really want that haircut? Do you really want that outfit? Do you really want to look and dress like that? Or is that just what's trending right now? And you think that you are going to get positive affirmations from those around you and feel accepted by your community if you present yourself this way, right? Or is that genuinely what you want and what your soul is yearning for? Now, it can be really, really confusing to differentiate between these two things. And honestly, the only way to go about it in my experience is spending a lot of time alone. Now, in my journey of exploration, self-exploration, a big, big piece of it has been spending time alone. Like that is genuinely what started my journey. Also, I'm sorry that I'm speaking with kind of a lisp, but my tongue ring at the moment is kind of big and it's kind of just taking up a lot of space in my mouth. So figuring out the difference between what you desire and what you should think that you desire, what you think that you desire, like actually plays a big role in manifestation too, because when I first started intentionally manifesting the things that I want, I now realize that a lot of what I was manifesting was just what I thought would give me like praise from those around me and would make me look good to the outside eye, but it never fully brought me that joy that I was craving and that I expected it to because I was seeking happiness from things on the outside, right? My outer reality. But in order to find true happiness, you have to find it from within and then it will be reflected into our outer reality, which I've talked about a lot before, but it's just very, very confusing to differentiate the two, honestly. And like, you need to genuinely ask yourself, like, what is it that is going to bring me happiness? Or how can I find this happiness first? How can I accept myself first? And then it will become clear and evident to you the things that do bring you genuine happiness because you'll already be feeling that genuine happiness, right? And also like, it's okay if your desires right now are not what they're gonna be in like, let's say a month, two months, a year, right? Because our desires and wants change over over time and as we grow into ourselves and get to know ourselves more we discover new things about ourselves and might find that what we thought we wanted wasn't truly what we wanted and that is so beyond okay like to find that something that you thought you wanted is not something that genuinely like your heart desires it's like okay we're all growing and learning that's okay right but like finding out what you truly want will change your life immensely because all of a sudden you're living for yourself and not for the validation of others, which is really, really empowering and makes a huge difference. Also, people will respect you more and want to be around you when you are sure of yourself and not trying to please other people. So how do exactly we find out what we truly want? Now, other than spending time alone, I would definitely say get into meditation. I'm always gonna say it, meditation is medicine, y'all. I'm telling you right now. So spending time alone, meditating, grounding yourself, and 
you need to start to tune into your emotions. Pay attention to how you're feeling when you're doing certain things, certain activities, and what type of emotions they're evoking in you. Not only when you're doing certain things, but also when you're around certain people. You might think you wanna be part of some friend group or wanna be friends with some person or want to date some person so badly, but how do you genuinely feel when you're around them? Is it the idea of this person that you like or is it the actual person? Find it within yourself, right? And stop worrying about, is this person going to like me? Start thinking, do I genuinely like this person? How do they make me feel when I'm around them? Is this somebody that is going to enhance my life or somebody that makes me feel insecure, that brings me down, that I wish that I was more like, right? If there is one thing that I've learned recently, it is so much better to be alone than to spend your time with people who drain your energy and make you feel bad. Even if they're not intentionally trying to make you feel bad, it doesn't mean that they're not doing it and you need to protect yourself and your energy. Everybody is going to be looking out for themselves first and you need to do the same. So the next thing when exploring yourself, getting to know yourself, getting deeper and deeper into your own desires, right? Is to learn to depend on yourself and not other people. It's so amazing to have great relationships and bonds in your life. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite things about life. I'm very extroverted. I'm a very social person, but I never want to have to depend on anybody else for my happiness because the sad thing is people can leave your life whenever they want to. Nobody's obligated to stand by you, take care of you. And even if they say that they will, life is so unpredictable, you never know when they can be taken out of your life, right? And it's sad to say, but it's true. The only person you will always have is yourself. And you need to be able to depend on yourself and make yourself happy. Because if somebody else, some outstanding person or situation is bringing you the happiness that you crave, if that situation goes away or changes or that person leaves, you lose your happiness and then you're left with what? You have to start over from the bottom. So build that foundation within yourself so that you'll be okay no matter what is happening around you. When learning how to depend on yourself, you need to practice working on your reactions when you're around people or or situations right like working on that that jealousy of let's say oh your friend is really close with these people right oh is she gonna leave me is she gonna get closer with them oh does this person like me like if they don't like me then like what am i gonna do like no you're gonna be fine no matter who's in your life and who isn't right because you have you your happiness is coming from you and anybody else that enters your life is just a bonus to the happiness that is already there the next thing i want to say and I, I'm guilty of doing this. Stop taking everything so seriously. It's not that deep. It's not that deep and it never was. And you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, it was not that serious. And I know, I know that there's something that you can think of that you freak out about and that you get anxious about. And I'm telling you, it is not that deep. It is not that big of a deal. Life, I hate to say it, is not that serious. When you die, inevitably, it's not gonna matter. It isn't, it's not going to matter. That test, it's not gonna matter. That person was talking about you behind your back, let them, haters are fans, right? And like, even if it hurt, and even if that was somebody that was close to you that did something to you, it's like, okay, you're treating me with hate, so you must not love yourself. And, and I hope that they find that love truly, but don't project your insecurities onto me, right? So just don't take it all as seriously. Because if you are looking for something to stress over and you are getting anxious over like little things, you're always gonna be anxious because there's always gonna be some sort of little inconvenience to get stressed about because that's just life. So just choose to accept that life is not perfect and that there will be obstacles in your way, right? And also knowing that you are strong enough to overcome whatever comes in your way, that everything is going to be okay. And if it's not, okay. It'll become okay, right? Things are constantly changing. It's like, it's really not that serious. Just try and find happiness in as many ways possible in your life. Another thing, people and circumstances can only affect you if you give them permission, right? Like genuinely, nobody can affect my energy and my mood and my state of being unless I let them, right? Like. So don't let them, you are in control. It's not, oh, that person hurt my feelings. And it's like, okay, yeah, maybe they did, but also like you're letting them hurt your feelings. And look, listen to your feelings, pay attention to your feelings, right? But don't give somebody else your power, right? Because you're in control of you. And always remember, be kind to yourself. Treat yourself with love. Treat yourself the way that you want to be treated by those around you, right? Like, let's say you have a crush on someone and you're like, I want them to love me like this, treat me like this. Treat yourself like that.
like come on like you so can like you really can treat yourself and do whatever you want so like might as well show yourself all the love so that you can flourish and feel happy because you can right there's no point in going about life hating yourself there's no point there's absolutely no point like you might as well love yourself because you are you that's it that's it you have yourself and that is it right so show yourself the love that you know you deserve that i know you deserve because you deserve it. Starting this journey and like really working on finding myself and diving deeper into myself has already made such a big difference in the way that I interact with those around me. I no longer feel dependent on my friendships and those people to like bring me happiness and to make me not feel lonely because like I know that life is always changing and I know that people will come and go and I appreciate and love the people in my life. But like, I also know that I'll be okay no matter what because I have me and that is something I'm extremely grateful for. So today, I want you to smile at yourself in the mirror. I want you to tell yourself that you love yourself. I want you to believe and know that you are capable of absolutely anything that you desire, that you are worthy of all of the love in the world because you are. You can be anyone. You can do anything. Just show yourself that love and learn to enjoy the little things in life, right? There's nothing wrong with being alone. Absolutely nothing. So just take a day, right? a day, a few days, whatever you want, a week, a few weeks, and just reflect and just be and just exist and just figure out what do you want? Find something that brings you happiness that does not require anybody else or anything else. Maybe it's drinking a nice cup of tea and looking out the window. Maybe it's listening to a certain artist on repeat, right? Who knows? It can be anything, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because you deserve to find happiness and you deserve to love yourself. And that's all I have to say today. I wanna to say thank you again to Quilt. You guys are amazing. Quilt is a really great way to um, start exploring those things that bring you genuine happiness and passion, right? Because the topics on Quilt are super interesting and there's like a whole ton of them, right? So definitely look into that. Tune in to the meditation that I'm going to, 10 a.m. March 6th, pull up, right? Add it to your favorites, add it to your calendar. I love you so much. I will see you guys soon, hopefully at the meditation. I love you. Thank you, Quill. Have an amazing rest of your day, everyone.